All right, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today, I'm in beautiful Puerto Rico. And this is definitely, a, you know, you don't need a passport to come to Puerto Rico. It's part of the United States. It's a territory of the United States. I'm happy to be here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. Now, the Ann Wigmore Institute was founded in 1990 by Ann Wigmore. And this place is world famous. I mean, my visit here this week, I, I saw people from Switzerland and Brazil and all over the world, literally. And so Ann Wigmore founded this, the Institute in 1990, and unfortunately we lost Ann to a fire um, from smoke inhalation in Boston in 1994. But her direct um, uh, students at the time, you know, went on to be at this Institute and still today and enthusiastically teach at this Institute. So Leola and Lalita are still here teaching the teachings of Ann Wigmore. And it's really great to have this resource here in Puerto Rico in the tropics. I mean, here I am in January and in California right now it's really cold and here it's, the weather is so beautiful and so nice. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take you on a tour. All right, so we're 20 yards from the main entrance of the Ann Wigmore Institute and look what we have here. We're literally on the beach at the ocean. It's so wonderful. There's palm trees, coconut trees actually all around and we're literally 10 minutes from Rincon, which is a surfing capital, Puerto Rico, really nice place. Ocean's really calm here. I was actually in the other day uh, trying to windsurf and uh, just wading around and, and swimming a little bit. People come out here to do uh, exercises and you know, there's yoga classes literally almost on the beach here, right on the beach. So let's check it out and we'll show you a little bit of the ocean. We are here in the kitchen in the cafeteria of the Ann Wigmore Institute here in Puerto Rico and the dinner bell just rang and now I'm going to show you you know a typical meal here at the Ann Wigmore Institute so you're going to get to eat the energy soup so uh, it's really delicious you just get a ladle and uh, serve yourself you'll also um, have here it, they have a uh, fresh papaya so you can also get some fresh papaya just basically plain cut of papaya really delicious here papaya is unlike in any other place where I've been it's uh, grown here on the island really fresh look at how dark it is really tasty next thing we have over here is the sauerkraut now I've been to many of the institutes that do the living foods and I must say that the sauerkraut here at the Ann Waymore is the best sauerkraut of them all the next we have here is my favorite and this is the cultured seed cheese and this is definitely goes really well with the energy soup here, like to mix them up, eat a little bit of each one at a time. The next thing we have here is dulse. So they put dulse and blend it with some water. That gives a nice uh, salty flavor. And dulse is really rich in minerals. And uh, over here we have the uh, the ginger. And this is the ginger here. If you like ginger, you put a little bit on there. And of course the lemon. Just uh, you know, squeeze some lemon on there and taste really delicious. So this is a, bit, a typical meal here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. It's nice and clean and healthful. All right, so we're here on the patio outside the kitchen at the Ann Wigmore Institute and they have these nice commercial OptiFresh wheatgrass juicers. These things are really super efficient, all stainless steel. And uh, basically you just turn it on and uh, you put the wheatgrass in and the, the wheatgrass juice will come out. And as a student here at the Ann Wigmore Institute, you get wheatgrass, uh, fresh every day you get to make your juice and if you want more wheatgrass is always available for you to make more so we're here at the Ann Wigmore and this is all their fresh fruit where they have they store their fresh fruit and uh, here's all the bananas so this is really cool if you've never seen this this is how you're supposed to harvest bananas by the whole basically plant and then all the bananas hang as they ripen or ripen as they hang so look at these these are the baby bananas these, and these, you can see the ripeness. You know, these are most ripe, and then these are getting more ripe, and down below, they're more green. So here at the end, Wigmore, they let everything ripen up before you eat them. And they have more bananas on the shelf in the back, and they have delicious papayas. These are some of the best papayas I've had anywhere. The papayas over here, and you know, they have more things such as uh, tomatoes, tomatoes grown on the island. All this is all locally grown. And these avocados, if you've never tried these avocados, these avocados are great. These are the Basically the low fat avocados, more watery. They're really, really delicious here in Puerto Rico. So we're upstairs 
above the kitchen, and below us are the actually the, the dormitories as well, they're dorms, and up here they have rooms, and some have bathrooms, some don't. We're in, so this is the student lounge, here's uh, Dr. Ann's picture, and uh, they hold classes up here in this area. They also have a, a flat screen TV, DVD player to uh, watch healthful movies on your free time. They also give classes here uh, upstairs, and they have free Wi-Fi, so if you need to you know, get away and and uh, you know, while you're away, do some work. They have free Wi-Fi available for you to use. And to check all the different rates, because the dorms and the rooms, and they even have nice student apartments that we'll see maybe later, uh, they all have different pricing. So be sure to check the website, annwigmore.org. All right, so we're here at the basically the office or the administration building here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. And when you first come to the Ann Wigmore Institute, you're gonna wanna check in, and that's on the lower floor. I'm on the second floor here. And the second floor has basically Wiggy Shop, and they, where they sell all the different things you'll need to do the lifestyle, the Ann Wigmore Living Foods lifestyle. And so uh, we're here. This is nice and beautiful Puerto Rico. I can see coconut trees, banana trees, and other fruit trees. You... All right, so here at the Ann Wigmore Institute, they even have their own fruit trees. So here's just one of them, and this is actually called egg fruit or canistel. And this is a nice, nice, really rich, rich fruit. And when these are ripe, they get really soft. And actually, they've been dropping on the ground here lately. I saw one on the ground yesterday, and this one's split. It needs to be a little bit softer before you could eat it. And here's one on the tree here. So they have, they have these beautiful fruit trees. They have um, the egg fruit or canistel, and they have the sabodia tree or brown sugar fruit. That's one of my favorite fruits. It's over there. They have you know, a lot of coconut uh, palms as well. So uh, this is the uh, canistel, and uh, it's cracking open. It needs to be a little bit softer before you eat it. And uh, we're going to maybe go into the, the greenhouse next. It's right behind us over there, and you can see all the raised beds. All right, so we're here at the Ann Wigmore in their greenhouse here. And as you can see, they have raised beds and are growing all kinds of different vegetables to eat, actually, from Malbar spinach or vine spinach to um, basically some kale and collards and pak choy. And they also have their own compost. Basically, they're making their own compost out of all the food scraps. and things here and it's, it's really great so uh, they pick all, some of the food fresh to use in the kitchen every day and it's, it's just delicious I just had some vine spinach all right so we're here in the Ann Wigmore Institute greenhouse and it's a lush place let me tell you I see a lot of green and here we are with the uh, sunflower sprouts they grow fresh here in the trays and everything and these are about nine days old they look really vibrant and I, I, I can't help myself I just have to pick one and eat it Mmm, roots and everything grown in soil, grown in their own compost that they make here. They have these racks made out of one inch PVC and a watering system as well that automatically comes on. And you can see all the sprouts they grow and there's all different stages of sprouts. So over here there's younger sprouts and these are the ones that just came up. So they're all different stages. So they, they'll have a continual harvest of sprouts for all the students to eat here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. Let's come on down over here and check out the wheatgrass. So they grow lots of wheatgrass here at the Ann Wigmore Institute and every student gets wheatgrass every day and here it is all growing. All in the soil, really nice, professional. You'll learn how to grow wheatgrass if you come to the Ann Wigmore Institute as well as the sunflower greens as well. So this is the uh, lovely greenhouse here at the Ann Wigmore Institute and you've got to come. Rebounding is really good for your health, and we're here at the Ann Wigmore Institute, and they have all these rebounders. So they have classes on rebounders, and you can come here 24 hours a day and rebound until your heart's content here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. <laughs> all right, so this is the pool area at the Ann Wigmore Institute. They have a nice pool and a hot tub over there with uh, bathrooms over there you could change. And then if you just turn a little bit, you can see all the nice, beautiful coconut trees here. And we are literally on the ocean here at the Ann Wigmore Institute. And they have in the mornings right here on this patio area right there, they have morning yoga at sunrise. And I, I participated in the yoga this morning. And man, it was so amazing to do yoga at sunrise. And the instructor, Kailash, which you'll probably see in a second. I'll probably have him give the uh, closing here to this, this video. You'll see him in a second. Um, great guy, great guy. Gr great yoga class and he's also a regular instructor here teaches a lot of the different classes here and uh, I guess this is some of the student housing here some of these student apartments actually that you can rent to stay in 
and uh, these are definitely a lot nicer than some of the other accommodations here but uh, you know definitely it depends on your uh, on your price and how much money you want to pay and this is right on the ocean in beautiful Puerto Rico so this is John Kohler with okraw.com at the Ann Wigmore Institute and we'll be signing off and let's take it away Kailash